All right, welcome back to step two of how to build a QRC outlaw cart. We're back with Brandon Lachance, and we're ready to assemble the front end on our QRC Spitfire frame. Brandon, uh, what are we working with here in this step? All right, so to put together the front end, we're gonna go over tools and parts. So uh, in this part, we'll need a 5 16 Allen wrench, a 7 32 Allen wrench, an eighth inch Allen wrench, some pliers, uh, and two 9 16 wrenches, as well as some um, NECs. So our two parts right here are the knuckles that come with the knuckle bolt kits, uh, two kingpins, and then left and right spindle, as well as the spacers, the nut, and the clip. Um, and then these right here are steering stops, and then front hubs, as well as left and right side tie rod. The right side tie rod is the longer of the two, as we see right there. And right here, any C's is good to use on all four heim joints. And uh, to begin, run, put any C's on the heim joints and run them all the way in, and we will back them off from there. All right, let's get this thing together. All right, so what's the first thing we gotta do to install the front end on this car? Uh, first step, we will take our knuckle bolt kits, uh, crush washer out, and then flat washer, and we will any seize both bolts. And all this stuff, when you get a car kit from us in the mail or you know on a pallet, it all comes with this stuff in a bag, right? Yes, so then we will take the two degree knuckle to the left front side with the thick part of the wedge to the top. And we will put it on and then snug up each bolt. And this is kind of one of those common things that, you know, especially at a place like Red Bluff, is one of these these knuckles kind of get tore up quite a bit, right? Correct. And uh, so the people watching this will probably replace these quite often. Yes, pretty, pretty frequently used item here at QRC. We're going to take a 916 wrench, tighten it up. I feel like a question we also get quite a bit is where does the line go on the on the knuckle here it looks like it's pretty straight up right yeah just straight up when building these cars brand new and you will be in a great spot to start out for sure all right so we've got our knuckles on what's next next we will take the kingpin and a spindle and we'll start with the left front and we will install it onto the knuckle so to begin take the cotter pin out and take this part of the kingpin and then run it through about halfway, visually halfway. And this is, as you can see there, a keyed spindle for the left front brake. About there to start. Run it through both the bearings on the knuckle. In this part, you will use the 5 16ths Allen as well as the pliers. So if you come around to the front, you will run this all the way down until the kingpin tightens up. Tight kingpin. Right there. Kingpin also another part that gets tore up pretty often in one of these things, right? Yes. So as long as you're snug, either zero to little wiggle room throw the cotter pin in and then we'll bend this around the back this way and tighten it like so and then just a good neutral starting point is flat with the top of this block I'll snug that up all right, so we've got the knuckle, the spindle, and the kingpin in. What's next? Next, we are going to install the steering stop onto the spindle. We will use the steering stop, 732nd Allen wrench, and a 916 wrench. And the steering stop is very crucial because it'll butt up against the knuckle. That way, the steering doesn't lock when turning left or right. Yeah, we've so, seen a lot of guys in the past not have these on and end up getting their front tires underneath their Nerf bar. And, gets them into trouble, so these are very important. So we go through this third hole on the spindle. Butt up right there. Take your 
Elementary mesh. Pretty simple deal there. Snag it up. And then when you're fully turned, you will bottom out on the knuckle. All right. Now we're back at the table, got the steering stops in. What's next for the left front part of the race car? Next, we will install the left front brake as well as the hub. So we will start with our 3.8 spacer, uh, the QA, and the left front brake. So first slide on the 3.8 spacer. Back that set screw out, flip them, that way you can slide on. We'll use a brake fitting to point inward toward the car. And maybe guys that are watching this with older cars, a lot of them maybe don't have this left front brake, right? Or, uh, yeah, as well as the box stock cars. So okay. any car with a keyed left front or a left front brake, this will be the steps for installation. And so if you're calling QRC, you gotta get it. Make sure you mention a left keyed spindle if you wanna get a left front brake if you have an older race car. Tighten up that set screw to the keyway. Don't forget to tighten the bottom set screw. Right there, no rock. And then next, the left front hub. Put the drive pins through the rotor. And then we will go with the half inch spacer, quarter inch spacer. Oh. nut until it's snug then back it off and is that kind of the baseline as far as the spacing goes right there is that what everybody kind of runs there that is super neutral and super baseline as well as everything that'll get you many races down the road all right so this is what we're looking like right now on the front end build in our qrc outlaw cart brandon what's next next we're going to install the tie rods onto the car and we'll start with our 12 and a half right side tie rod and our 11 and 3 quarter left side tie rod. So we'll use 2 9 16 wrench in this step. And we'll take the tie rod spacer kit and go to the right front of the car. So I know we didn't explain this earlier, but basics of installing the right front, we will use the zero degree knuckle and we will just make it straight up for a neutral position. And then we will use three half inch spindle spacers, hub, and then another half inch spacer, nut and clip. And that right. will be your neutral spot for the right front. So then taking the tie rod spacer kit, we will start with the small bushing on the bottom. Go through that eyelet there, big bushing on the top. And we will use this hole for a neutral beginning. And it's always that hole that you uh, put that one in because there is two holes there on the There's spindle. There's two holes and that is just driver preference. It speeds up and slows the car down when, or the steering at least, when you use the different holes. So all for feel. So you're tight and then we'll do the same thing with the left side. All right, so that is it for step two in building a QRC outlaw cart. We've got the left and the right front assembly done. We've got the tie rods on. Brandon, kind of give us a brief overview of the things that people putting this together need to be kind of paying attention to here. Yeah, basically, you know, we were given two different knuckles and just know that the two degree knuckle goes on the left front with the thick part of the wedge pointing upwards, the zero degree on the right front, uh, basic installation of a kingpin, a very standard normal starting spot on spacing as well as caster and camber there. And, uh, you know, just using the tie rod spacer kit the correct way. Uh, there and then yeah, there you have a front end of a QRC cart.